In the next few minutes, I will talk about the real world electrical signals and the signal integrity. As we studied in the textbooks, this is how the signals look like. What you see here is a square wave and this is a sine wave and this is a triangular wave. But in real world, the real world means when the signals actually get transmitted through the medium, how do they look like? Do they look like how we learn in textbooks or do they look like very different? Let's see how the signals actually look like. As an example, we will use the square wave used for digital communication and how the square wave get modified during its travel through the medium. So here is a representation of square wave as we see in an oscilloscope. So you can see that this is little different from the perfect square wave that I have drawn here. As you can see the rising edge has a considerable slope same for the falling edge. It's not straight as the previous diagram. Apart from that, you can see that there is an overshoot. Also there is some ringing and there are some distortions on the falling edge. Let us examine one by one what they are. Due to the capacitance of the medium or due to the properties of the medium through which the signal propagates, the signal gets delayed. That is how we see a slope on the edges, on the rising and the falling edges. And instead of becoming flat, it actually overshoots the amplitude limit and this portion is called overshoot and it comes back and it goes below the amplitude and this is called ringing and it takes a certain amount of time to settle, settle to a constant value and this area is called ringing and the total time to take to the uh, constant value is called settling time. Again, even the rising edge is not perfect, it's not linear. You can see there is a bend and on the falling edge you can see that there is another smaller transition within the falling edge. In fact, this kind of rising it is called a monotonic rising and this is a, mo a non-monotonic falling edge. Again you can see there is a dip and a ring back. Now let us study the impact of a square wave being distorted into this type of signal. The impact of an overshoot is that the receiving circuit can get damaged. The impact of a ring back is that if it exceeds a certain limit, it can result, result in a uh, wrong data. Here is a simple CMOS driver and receiver. The driver means it transmits the digital signals and the receiver receives the signals and gives it to the processing circuit. And what you see here is the channel. Channel could be anything. It can be a copper trace in the PCB or it can be uh, the USB cable or it can be a wireless medium.
the all the distortions that we talked earlier happens out in the channel so the channel modifies the signal if the receiving end gets a distorted signal it results in bad communication so this diagram explains the need for signal so what is signal integrity signal integrity deals with different factors that affect a signal that affect the quality of the signals and studies the methods to reduce the external effects on a digital signal so let's examine a few terms used in signal integrity these domain. are a few terms few significant terms used in signal integrity domain the first one is crosstalk crosstalk means coupling between two signals for example if there are two pcb traces the signal in trace a gets affected by the coupling from the trace b it could be a capacitive coupling or it could be an inductive coupling so due to which the quality of the signal flowing through the channel a gets distorted this phenomenon is called crosstalk the next term is isi or inter symbol interference when there is a stream of data for example there are four zeros a single one and then again four zeros due to inter symbol interference the amplitude of the bit one will not be as good as it is expected to be. for example if the amplitude the expected amplitude is this much due to the surrounding zeros the actual amplitude of this particular bit could be only this much which can result in a bad data the third point is the reflection a reflection happens due to the impedance mismatch in a transmission line the example for reflection is as this Let, let's assume that this is the pulse which travels along the medium at the end of the medium a portion of the pulse reflects back let's assume that it has a smaller amplitude and then at certain point this coincide these two pulses coincide and it distorts the original signal the last term being jitter the jitter means the time variation of a particular edge of a digital signal let us assume that this is a square wave and now we know that at time equal to 0 there is a positive edge and after certain time that positive edge repeats let's say it's t equal to 1 due to jitter this particular interval vary across different cycle this is not always constant as we expect this phenomenon is called jitter
So the importance of understanding real world signals and the signal integrity is that anybody who is working on oscilloscopes for viewing the digital transmission or anybody who is debugging the signals should understand what are the reasons for a bad communication or a distortion in the signals. It is very important that a person involved in this field understand thoroughly what these terms are.